Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto with the co-producer and co-director of Crime, Joe Loya, the Beirut Bandit, Sam Cho. How does it feel to be in TIFF 2013? Oh, it feels great. It feels, uh, it feels, uh, it, uh, it feels fabulous. Mm -hmm. What was yours and Alex's, Alex Lambert's initial reaction when you heard the news? Yeah, we were overjoyed. I, I called her right away and, uh, uh, my first reaction was like, oh shoot, it's on the internet right now. We have to take it down. So we had to call Mocha TV, which the, the series is on their channel. We had to call them and for them to take it down. Wow. How did you initially meet Joe Loya and get inspired by his story enough to make this film? Um, it's a bit of a long story, but it all started when I picked up uh, Alex's book called Crime. Mm -hmm. And Joe Loya's was the first chapter. Uh, the crime, the book, was a series of, of interviews, and uh, uh, each chapter is a with a different person. And Joe's was the first, and his story captivated me from from the first word. Uh, and from then, I I knew I, I wanted to do something with the story. Mm -hmm. I wanted to uh, bring it to life, you know, outside of a, a book form. And what is it like working in documentary animation as a genre? Um, I love it. I love it. It gives it gives the um, the film a different feel because usually when you do a documentary, you could either uh, do it with reenactments, which is kind of cheesy. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you do it in an animated way, uh, in, with the animation medium, you, um, it could be uh, bigger than life. It could be bigger than uh, bigger than reenactments mm -hmm. with actors. How did you acquire Joe Loya's voice for the film? Well, actually, Joe's uh, excerpt from the book exists in audio form. The book itself is a series of interviews, and, and they all exist in, uh, in, in, in audio form. So when I found this out, uh, Alex told me she was sitting on 400 hours of interviews. Then uh, immediately the thought came to my head, let's make a series out of this. And Joe's just happened to be one of the episodes. Has he seen the film, and what did he think of it? Yes, he has seen it, and uh, he loves it. He absolutely loves it. He he's he says it's the favorite. It's his favorite out of the bunch, mm. uh, understandably. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, it was the most poignant part of his of his life. He said, wow. uh, you know, there's a the beginning chapter of him growing up. There's and then leading up into him robbing his first bank. And then him uh, getting incarcerated and then reforming his life. But the, the, the strongest um, moment in his life uh, for film was that first time he robbed a bank. And that's the one we chose. Have you always been intrigued by crime and bank robberies more specifically? Um, I've always been captivated by that kind of stuff. I always like heist movies. And uh, I've been in animation for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. And so there's only so many dancing animals and talking animals that I can do before I start wanting to do something a bit darker. And so crime uh, was kind of like um, my expression of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just telling darker stories, a little bit more adult. Yeah. How do you hope that audiences respond to the film? Oh, I want them to love it. I want them to see the series. Mm -hmm. And where is the best place to find out more information on you and on the series online? Um, you can, oh shoot, I, I don't know. Tiff.net? Yeah, go to tiff.net and uh, go under films and uh, uh, type in crime in the search function. Mm -hmm. Or you can go on to uh, uh, style5.tv and go under uh, the crime section. Okay. Thank you so much. Congratulations and have an amazing time at this year's TIFF. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.